police emergency. Warning markers for firearms. Get on the ground. Rock it in, rock it in, rock it in. He's now off in the field. Derbyshire's traffic cops. It is one keep up with it. Battling crime in the middle of the country. Open the door now! He smashed down a bollard. How he's done now? Nothing. From the picturesque peaks, <laughs> treating it as life threatening, to the inner cities. Yeah, he's done me. This side, this side. He's going to decamp. It's a decamp, decamp, four runners. Under threat. It's you tough. do want to tell you. Do not put your hands anywhere near your pockets. And at risk. Watch him. Monks on, monks on. Run two traffic cars now. Around every corner. Don't bulk it. There's a new challenge. Hands on the wall! For the traffic cops. Coming up. Holy stop. Runaway suspects pushing the limits. Yes, yes, block it in, block it in, block it in, block it in. A high speed pursuit. Near side, near side. No, sir, bring it down. Sure, I'll get him. Turns into a race to save a life. I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help. How about strange? A vanishing drunk gives cops the runaround. What can you tell me about your car, really? About my what? Your car. I don't drive me. You haven't got a car? No. I've got it, high street. A football fan flees after no. smashing into another car. No, you won't. No, not really you tough. do want to tell you. Do not put no, your hands no, anywhere no. near your pocket. stop. And the cops give chase to a 150 mile an hour Porsche that tears up the back streets of Derby. Speed approximately 9 0. The acceleration on it was just immense. Remember, I've got any Oscar Tango units, please, that can start making the way uh, M1 northbound AMPR hits. Yes, yes. Be aware, we've had a stolen vehicle hit the AMPR camera southbound on the motorway. Oh, safe, thanks. Traffic cops like Dan Mitchell face the dangers of dealing with runaway drivers every day. They'll take whatever risks they deem appropriate to them to avoid us stopping them and to avoid capture. A stolen vehicle's been sighted. At the minute, it's just hitting up on the border, but on not side. Dan's in an unmarked car, travelling east of Derby, near the Nottinghamshire county line. I'm just going to get down there and try and plot up, just see if it comes back towards Derbyshire and hopefully we'll be in a position to get it stopped, see if we can get someone's pride and joy back. This car has been involved in local burglaries. We've got two units allocated to it, they're en route. Up ahead, Sergeant Scott Riley is also responding, along with a number of other traffic cars. That stolen car we're looking for is just activated a traffic camera. When somebody's got their hands on a stolen car, they're going to be driving it dangerously, they're going to be driving it at speed, and if the police get behind them, then they're going to take all manner of risk to evade capture. I think Scott's going to get behind it first if it comes back onto Derbyshire. They're very close. I don't know if it's a lay-by right to the often. See something off in the lay-by stand by. The stolen Astra is spotted parked up ahead. Come on. Opportunities like that don't come often. If it's not moving, we need to catch them off guard. Scott and a second traffic car are coming up on it from both directions. Yes, yes, block it in, block it in, block it in, block it in. Hey, stop. Whilst one man is detained, Scott heads off after the Astra. Stand by. With two units now on its tail, a third quickly joins the chase. Hey, Go ahead. Yeah, I've currently got a vehicle failing to stop. We are back towards Derbyshire. The speed is 5 0. Three zero. This is authorised. Yes, yes. Can I have the empath, please? This person is high risk. This person is going to do anything within their power to get away from us. Can I have a stinger location, please? Stinger at this time is authorised. Please ensure you remember your hard cover. All right. We're very close. Yeah, from four one. I'm just coming onto the road now, so I might be able to get a sight set up. Yeah. Just appear. 
DRAs are low at this time, and we are now at that bend. Top front unit, uh, not involved in feedback unless necessary, uh, safety car if possible, or rear car. Make sure we don't get caught, you guys. Got one lot one for roundabout, through red, DRAs are medium. Yeah, he's done me. Somebody go. Please, he's done me. It's too late to use the stinger, so Dan gets behind the getaway car. Lane two, right down the side zero. The Astra's all guns blazing, he's, he's going. He's managed to lose Scott, so I'm now the lead car. Tango 4 1, it's pursuit. The uh, dog unit has been requested, they're making their way towards you now. The driving isn't particularly quick, 50, 60 miles an hour, but he's weaving. He's weaving from left to right. It's a marked vehicle wants to come past me and take over. Attention. As the driver tries to escape, Dan gets ahead. With three cars in position, they attempt to box in the suspect. Stay with me, Dan. Stay with me, Dan. Stay with me, Dan. Near side, near side. OK, take it steady. Right, let's settle him in lane four. Let's settle him in four. Settle him in four. OK, settle him in one. Settle him in one. That's it. Bring it down. Bring it down. And he's trying to get a box on there. Still in lane one. That's it, team. Bring it down. Wrap around. Wrap around. Slow, slow. He doesn't want to stop, and he won't stop for any measure. He's just going to try everything now to get away. His cards are on the table, basically. Right, it's off, it's off, it's yeah, off. Yeah, the crossover, back onto the main carriageway. It's all right, I'll get him. He's going to decamp. Just watch for decamp. No, he's committed, committed. Yeah, stand by for a decamp. He's going back on. He's abandoning in bushes. Decamp, decamp. Get the dog there, send your vehicle, get the dog out, and pass his on route. Send your vehicle, dog out, send your vehicle. Coming up. I can't get to the car because of the bushes, so he might not have got out. The search is on for the runaway driver. Yeah. Scott, where are you? We are deep in the woods. How very strange. And Scott deals with a mystery crashed and abandoned car. What can you tell me about your car, really? I don't drive, mate. Go ahead. Yeah, I've currently got a vehicle failing to stop. This is off, right? 12 miles east of Derby, traffic cops Scott Riley and Dan Mitchell are pursuing a stolen car. Yeah, it's gone for somebody else, please. It's gone, mate. Stay with me, Dan. Stay with me, Dan. Stay with me, Dan. Near side, near side. No, it's off, it's off, it's yeah, off. Yeah, across the grass, back onto the main carriageway. That vehicle's just gone full speed, gone straight down the, the bank and through the grass. And all of a sudden, he's driving through a jungle of grass and it buried itself into the foliage. Yeah, the dog's there, send your vehicle, get the dog out and pass his on route. Send your vehicle, dog out, send your vehicle. I can't get out of the car, the bushes, so he might not have got out. I've not seen any doors open. I don't know how many people are in the vehicle, but I can't even get in it. I can't see how they've opened any of the doors. The only way I can check that it's clear is by opening the boot and going through the boot. One's got out. I've seen him cross over the road into these trees. I still don't know how I managed to get out of that car. It's crossed over the, it's, it's crossed over the slip. It's on the other side. While Scott checks the Astra, Dan is trying to work out where the driver might have run to. So the car's over there. It's tried to get back on again. We've come off up there. So he is going to be round here somewhere. A dog tracks the runaway driver's scent. There's a bit of a walkway in here, mate. See if, that, see if that's accessible. Seems to be trodden. He's definitely gone over this fence that I'm held by. Because uh, the dog's desperate to climb over. I can't let him go because I don't know how deep the road is in the pond or anything. With the helicopter above, Scott heads in through the thick undergrowth. 
And please just let you know what we're doing. My uh, colleagues on the camera with the thermal searching around where you are around that pond nearer to the car. I'm having a good look around with the night sun and night vision goggles in further reveal. Though. I don't know if it's a fishing lake or if it's just like a, a bog. So it looks absolutely horrific if you go down here. 48845, we are deep in the woods. Heading that towards the water. Right? We are struggling to see you, um, so we're just trying to do some orbits. Um, it's very, very thick in there, so just bear with us. After 45 minutes of searching, the runaway driver is still hiding out. And pass 5-4, we might have, we've got a heat source right at the edge of the water. Yeah, there's not a lot of movement. Um, I'll just tell you what we've got on the pictures. We've got a heat source, it's round, uh, and then we've got a smaller heat source around it. Uh, our interpretation, possibly a head sticking out of the water and the body uh, in the water. Uh, the heat source looks as though it's like a circle, so we need to try and get down there, because he, he may have injured himself or something like that, or he's just, he's just lying low until we decide to call it a day. Any officers that approach are just a bit concerned if this is a person in the water, that they're, that, that they're OK. Another water there, mate. Yeah. Scott, where are you? Scott, go away to your right. OK, officer coming in from the... Uh, you've been near enough on top of this heat source. Uh, I could just see you coming through the trees now. Slightly to your left. So Scott's right on the edge of the water now, right close to the heat source, so he's gone cross-country from the other side. And passenger just guiding him in. We can't give up getting to this heat source, whether it is or it isn't a person, because if it is him, he could have fallen over and he can be in a lot of trouble. Slightly to your left, slightly to your left. He's only about three paces in front of it, is him? Just be careful, you're going to come to the water in a minute. Clear the air, clear the air, I can see him. Oh, we can see him. We can see him. The helicopter says, right, you're there. And straight away, I can just see him submerged in water, but I thought he were dead. Your heart stops think, this is real now. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. And if a criminal that's just used all their efforts to get away from you, is asking for help, and then you know that they've got themselves into a situation. Confirm you got him. Yes, yes, confirm. A wonder team. Four, you've got three, three units, mate. You're not going to die. Be gentle with him. Be gentle with him. Come on, please. All right, mate. Yes, yes, confirm. Yeah, keep going. They're not struggling, mate. No, 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 they're not helping you, mate. No, no, they're not helping you, mate. 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 All the energy and all the fight's been taken out of him. He's almost drowned. We need to get him back out where we can get him medical assistance. <laughs> You're requesting an ambulance. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anybody throw up so much water. You know, you, you could tell he's not faking it. He's very nearly drowned. Another 15 minutes, it would have been too late. Vomiting water up now, uh, um, so we're all need the ambulance. The work that the helicopter did, they've saved his life. Awesome, well done, troops, well done. Sorry about speech. Sorry. They managed to get him out. Yes, yes, it's just a case of getting him back out. On onto the uh, onto the road now. The risks that these people are willing to take to evade police capture. I've seen people jump over fences and break their legs. I've seen people jump from heights that you just wouldn't entertain. And I've seen people go through foliage like we've seen tonight, getting cut to ribbons that we just wouldn't entertain because I want to go home to my family pretty much uninjured. Their need to get away from us will always be greater than our need to catch them. Do you want me to get you a blanket as well, Sergeant? No, I'm all right. Are oh, you all right? No, I'm all right. I'm only damp from, from there now. We're coming off. 
How many tadpoles are you going? Oh my god! <laughs> Not even fun. Oh dear. One stolen car, no damage to our cars, and one locked up after a game of hide and seek. Very good. Fingers. Yes, that's on stuff. There are many reasons people try to get away from the cops, whether they are car thieves, wanted criminals, or even drink drivers. Having put on a dry pair of boots, Scott's now responding to a report of another runaway driver. So, a report of an abandoned car, which it looks like we've just found. Um, in a Fox Hill Ripley. And there we have it. Mm. An A Tango so far. Yeah, I'm with your car. You can run it for us, please? Yeah, we've run it through. It's um, come back to an address in Alfreton. Strangely insured to Dundee. How very strange. Hello. Do you know anything about this car that's crashed on the road outside? Oh, yeah. It was about half past one, and I heard a bang. Yeah. I don't know more of it. And this young lad and this girl come in. So they've come in. How long ago? Um, probably half an hour. All oh, right. Yeah, if you've got one, that'd be great. Yeah. Show you what yeah, yeah. Have you got it on now? Yeah. Well, I can get it off. It doesn't take me a minute. Yeah, OK. Um, do you want one for the... Ah, can we, can we have a still of that? It's quite distinctive, isn't it? Yeah. Let's take a photo of him. I was going to see if I can get him coming in. Uh, try, or trying to come in. Potentially got him coming in on CCTV next door. Did they not say anything then about no, it? No, nothing. We'll go and have a quick look. <coughs> We're going to get the, uh, the car recovered anyway. OK, thank you. Bye. I'm going to do an area search, see if I can find him. There's only one reason you do that to your car and, and go off, and that's because you're drunk or drugged. So we'll see if we can find them. <laughs> oh. Hold on a minute. Is it that curb? You can see it. Yeah, so there we go. Look at the damage on the curb there. So they've come round that corner too fast, hit this curb, and then it's just their momentum and the sort of end of the accident that's taken them down there to bring them to a rest. It's quarter past three in the morning. It's probably the right sort of time for somebody to be absolutely drunk. Uh, crash the car and now walking home. So we'll just see if we can pick them up walking home. Ah, there we go. Come over here. You. Come over here, mate. Right. Come over here, buddy. What can you tell me about your car, really? About my what? Your car. I don't drive, mate. You haven't got a car? No. I've not got a licence. At all? No, mate. I'm, I'm on provisional, bro. You're provisional, are you? I don't drive at all, mate. So you've not been in a car at all? Never. Can I have a 10-15 person check, please? So you don't own a car? I don't own a car whatsoever, mate. OK. This is inconvenient for me, mate. Sorry, what are you keeping me for? Am I detained? You are at the minute, yeah. I'm not very impressed, to be honest. Yeah, 24, thanks, right. You got any car keys on you? No. No, anything else can I search you? Yeah, of course you can. All right. Hmm. Is that a set of car keys? They're not mine. They're well, my just, mates. Well, I've just found them in your pocket. They're my mates. All right. Come over here with me. Yeah. 
Because I believe you've been driving a motor vehicle whilst under the influence of alcohol. Uh, you might as well put that away, Mike. I require you to provide me a specimen of breath for the purpose of analysis. Um, definitely not, because I've okay. not been driving. Do you agree to give me a specimen definitely of your breath? Definitely not. Okay. Who am I? So, so, what are you... What is this... Un I've got a good... Okay. Will you provide me a specimen of breath? I definitely will not. Thank you, Paul Knight. Okay. Can I give you a mark off for the... You're under arrest for failing to provide a specimen of breath. You do not have to say anything, but I may harm saying I'm not mentioned when questioned. Something which later on in court. Yeah. All right, mate? Yeah, mate, yeah. Okay. Understand why you've been arrested, buddy? No, mate. You grab a seat in there. Definitely not. Coming up, the runaway driver causes problems in custody. Sorry, mate, but you're wasting my time, so I'm wasting your time. I'm not wasting my time. I'm getting pissed at 7 o'clock. And... Speed approximately 9 zero and a 3 zero. A 150 mile an hour sports car leaves the cops trailing. The acceleration on it was just cement. Hands on the wall now! Hands on the wall! How very strange. In Ripley, Derbyshire, Sergeant Scott Riley has found the suspected runaway driver of a crashed Seat. What can you tell me about your car, really? I don't drive, mate. The man claims to know nothing about the accident, but he's taken back to Ripley Police Station. Key evidence. That's what that is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Get your driving license no, off here. Well, I'm going to get it anyway. Listen, listen, right? You can make this easy, I can make it difficult. Make All it right? easy, I'm yes. walking in from this shop. Listen, listen, right? My job is to make you safe whilst you're here. Listen, mate. And I can't do I'm not your mate. Listen, listen right? Mate. Listen. And I can't do that, I'm I don't know who you are. Like shop. I say, I'm independent in this game. I don't care. Okay? So the vehicle that's been involved in the collision is registered at this gentleman's address. This gentleman's got a key for the SEAT on his person. I've asked him to Which provide... Which was my friend's key? I've asked him to provide a specimen of the breath and has refused to do so. Therefore, he's been arrested, uh, failing to provide a specimen of the breath on the approved machine. You see he had the key on it? Yes, he did, yes. I'm sorry, mate, but you're wasting my time, so I'm wasting your time. I'm not wasting my time. I'm getting paid at 7 o'clock. You're saying you're right. So you're not wasting my time, you're early for the work here. What other injuries and illnesses have you got? My leg. What's wrong with your leg? Arthritis. Arthritis and the other parts of your body? Yeah. For your ear. Which ear? My left ear. That's your right. Yeah, well then. My left ear. Well, that's your right ear, though. My left ear. I said, your right. My left ear. L E F T E A R. Left ear. Anywhere else? Yeah. My right ear. Both ears. And my nose. And your nose. Yeah. Anywhere else? Yeah. Yeah. Right. My eyeball. Are you taking any tablets or medication? Yeah. What are you taking? Cocaine. Uh, any others? Yeah. LSD. Yeah. Heroin. Crack cocaine. Yeah. 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 Weed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, MDMA. Yeah. Acid. Yeah. Um, MCAT. Yeah. Um, are you jotting them down? No, because they're not tablets or medication, are they? Yeah, they are, yeah. They're not the drugs. Yeah, they are. Are you taking any tablets or medication? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you taking? Drugs. Right, follow the coin. This way. He was absolutely paralytic and he's out driving a car with no driving licence, no insurance. He's come off the road on a corner that's not really a corner, to the extent where the wheel's been uh, pulled off from the car. It's a fatal accident waiting to happen. He could have killed somebody. Now he's in one of our cells, sobering up. Um, he's made it easy for us, he's failed to provide it. That's an absolute offence itself. And yes, he was a very entertaining chap. Traffic cop Dan Mitchell is nearing the end of a night shift. Yeah, for information, the uh, driver in this vehicle suspected to be over the limit, drink driving, possibly under the influence of drugs. 
possible drink driver that got reported a couple of hours ago. Uh, just hit up uh, one at City Roads. So I'll just go out and have a bit of a look. See if we can find it. A few miles away, one of Dan's colleagues is parked up in an unmarked car when the suspect passes him. Hey, four, eight, ten, twelve. As the blue lights go on, the driver races away. Fall off a little over. With the unmarked car in pursuit, Dan rushes towards the chase. Another left, 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 left street, eh? And I believe cover this ball. Any other ops in the area? Yeah, 4 1. It's a blue convertible with a roof down, a single male occupant driver. Speed approximately 9 0 and a 3 0. This vehicle was acting at speed before I lit it up. Little you collide with anything at that speed on those sort of roads and it would just be complete oblivion. I wouldn't be surprised if you go halfway through the building before you come to a stop. Absolutely horrific. And it's a total loss. Hello Sierra 1, Austin Fox right here, it's 2FA1 please. Right mate, I'll go um, in that way, see if it pops out. Where I first sighted it, I mean, speed had just been excessive straight away. And hey, what is, what is it, please? Is it a Porsche or similar? Yes, Porsche box to convertible in blue. Um, 24. Four and a half litre engine that's probably got. Probably about 400 brake. The acceleration on it was just immense. This vehicle couldn't keep up. Control have traced the car to a nearby address. It's going to get a rude awakening then, thank you. Huh, local car fails to start, why would you do that? Drunk, probably. <laughs> Sit down here, I think, see if it comes back. Is that you, Daddy Volvo? Yes, mate, is that you, Jack? Yes, mate, no sign of it. Thanks, mate. He showed no sign of uh, popping it up any time soon. Acceleration was just crazy. Yeah, so I think we've got all the um, the main sort of trunk roads covered, and then um, there's some local cars that are sort of floating in and around the area where it was last seen. It looks like uh, the insurance is recently taken out, as in yesterday. Hopefully we'll be able to find it. If we do find it and it's parked up somewhere, we'll just seize it. When you're driving around the area like that, it's lots of terraced housing and um, tight streets, double parked cars. If, if he's drunk, I'm surprised he's uh, managed to get round him and not hit anything, to be fair. Officers are now approaching the car owner's address. <coughs> we've boarded up. And there it's uh, had a big red key on it. If we get that way, we'll stop for you. Um, there's lots of issue with that address. The police suspect that the man and the house have links to drug offences. Here we are then. That will explain the border address. Yeah, driving around. No license. Right, let's go find it. I want to seize it now. Trying to go mobile again, Dan. See if we can find it parked up somewhere and get seized. Traffic cop Jason Potts finds a car matching the description. Nice. The wheels are that hard, you can't touch them. Oh, man. Jesus. It's absolutely yeah. red off. Wait, it stinks. It does get to smell the brakes, They're blue. Well, at least we know the work. Yeah. yeah. Scorch out. Yeah. It just smells of brake dust and burning. So it's obviously been uh, been ragged. And there's no there's no RTC damage. So he's managed to drive it like he stole it 
without hitting anyone else. So at least no one else is going to be involved in, in this. Nearby, officers spot the suspect. Hands on the wall now! Hands on the wall! That's behind your back. What's happening? Dan's got someone detained who we believe to be the driver. So um, we'll see what, uh, what he's got to say. At a uh, four eight, we've got male detained returning on four. Right, mate, there's a moment in time you're under arrest on suspicion of dangerous driving and failed to stop the police. What car you got? I don't drive car. Right. Yeah, well, I don't believe you. A car, that, a car that's linked to you has just failed to stop the police and driven dangerously. I suspect you're the driver. That's why you're under arrest. You had a drink tonight, yes? No. I don't drink, I don't drive. You don't drink, when? you don't drive? Right, OK. Right. Just record my face. Because you're under arrest, you're going to be searched. No, all right, mate. You, 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 can, you can arrest me, yeah. but don't, don't yeah. record my face. You got anything on you? You shouldn't have you on you. No, I don't no. have nothing. Right, OK. No, nothing, 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 nothing. Right. Very good. All right. That's uh, an odd thing to have. What's that? You've been playing army? Pardon? You've been playing army with your friends or something? No, that's a normal phone, work phone. Hmm. To my it's work phone? Yeah, to call it car, you know. It's not an Encro phone, is it? I work in insurance company. Special phones? What special phones? I don't know, it looks like a special phone. It looks no, like something I had when I was about 16. It looks like special phones, you know. Oh, would you oh. look at that? One Porsche car key. My key. No, not your key in your pocket. Give it over. I don't drive. One Porsche car key located in the pocket. I don't I don't drive. Uh, oh, you can preach all you want, mate. That's I don't fine. drive cars. All right. I think you've been driving a car. Yeah. Therefore, I need you to blow into this. Why? To see if you're drunk. That's the simplest way I can put it with a language barrier. I don't drive like I don't right, drive, right. drive like. Uh, I don't need to prove it. I just need to suspect. I suspect you've been driving a motor vehicle. How? I suspect you failed to drop, uh, failed to stop that motor vehicle for police. Therefore, I require you to provide me an arrest I suspect of breath for analysis. If you if I don't, if you don't blow into that, you will be arrested. Yeah. Take a nice deep breath, tube into your mouth and blow. Blow, 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 blow. That's it, Tom. I was thinking about it, so it must be quite a bit. You blame 52, therefore you're further under arrest on suspicion of driving a motor vehicle whilst over the prescribed alcohol limit. Drink driving. All right, you're still under caution. What does that mean? Means you're arrest. Another arrest, yeah. Another arrest? Another yeah, arrest. Yeah, another arrest. Have you been arrested before? I've been, yeah. Yeah, so you know what, what happens then. Right, let's get put you into the back of this police car here. This on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Can you take your arms out? No, that's the idea. Very good. They're not too tight. Sand. And let's take the four one. Yeah, we just jack uh, recover it for this Porsche um, car park at the back of the street there, please. We've got the keys. There we go. Uh -huh. And we are in. Cool. Oh, alarm's going to go off now. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorted it. Right, get some paperwork. Now. It's a result. Good result. If you're going to drive like that whilst you're drunk, you, know, you deserve everything that, that he's, he's going to get, really. Dangerous car off the streets, uh, dangerous driver off the streets. Luckily, is at the time of the night where there's not that many people around. Uh, however, travelling at speeds in excess of 85, 90 miles an hour on these streets, I'm so surprised that we're not having to deal with multiple reports of um, like RTCs where it's crashed into other vehicles, God forbid, colliding with pedestrians that have been out on a Friday night in town, uh, making the way back home. So, yeah, it's uh, a good result. Um, are quite favourable that we're just basically dealing with the traffic offences and not having to deal with something more serious that, that's going to affect people's lives in the future. Coming up, 
You know, your face is smashed up. An injured drink driver puts lives at risk. It's got horrifically dangerous edges, so that will rip somebody to pieces. With eight and a half thousand people killed or seriously injured in drink drive accidents every year, clamping down on these crimes is a top priority. Say again, Remy, I must have missed that. Uh, what are we going to some codes for? It's a busy night in Ripley, and traffic cop Nick Lovett is on the lookout for trouble. Well, the, were the obs just passed for a white car that's possibly di seen as hit some other cars? Yeah, 24. I've got it, High Street. Just turning into co-op. Pulling up, mate, he's just coming in off the high street and he's just going through some parking spaces. As Nick pulls up, colleagues Sergeant Remy Hopkins and PC Mark Scott are quickly on the scene. Hey, up, pal, you right? Yeah, what's the matter with you? Nothing, I'm in a car. You've been in a car accident? No, put him out. Uh... Put, put your hands down. Sure. Put your hands down. Come out, you want to come No, in? right, put your hands down. Just keep, 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 keep your hands out your pockets. No, no, keep your hands out your pockets. Stay still. Yeah, of course what? You say you've been involved in a car accident? Yeah, right. yeah. Keep your hands no, away. Keep hard. your hands away. Put you out. put them in there, just put them in there. No, put, I'll keep my hands in. No, 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 just put it on your... On no, your... I'm not, I'm not you do what I tell you. Yeah, do not, do not put your hands where, anywhere where, near where, your pockets. Sorry, mate, sorry, yeah. Where are you on, mate? Where are you on? Turn around, turn around, turn around. Yeah, I've got it. Right, now we can chat, can't we? Yeah, of course. Yeah. How much you had to drink? Five yeah. pints. Five pints. Right. What's happened with this RTC? I'll tell you, I've been in a little bit of what? What's happened with your crash? I've hit something. I've got something. Yeah. Have you stopped? No, 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 no. Okay, take it on my left. I'm going to have my burn my left. My left. Hey. What's yeah. happened to your face? What do you mean face? Face you got is all blood. blood right? No, no, my hand cut. Go show my hand, go show my hand. What's that noise? It's on your hand. My initial thoughts is that he probably smacked his head on the steering wheel or on, on the uh, windscreen uh, as a result of being in that collision. Why are you bleeding then? Go wipe my hand. No, mate, no. I'll get you some Why are you you got all blood in your mouth. Look, my face, cut, my hand are cutting blood. Right, we're not getting here, are we? Is this your motor? Customer, yeah. yeah. Can you arrange recovery, please, for this vehicle? Uh, it's got part of the wing uh, peeled back, uh, the offside wing, which will make it dangerous, uh, and the uh, driver's door can't be opened and shut properly. You could list the defects as long as you are. Um, mate, yeah. at this moment in time, at quarter past seven, you're under arrest, that, mate. That perfect okay. Time, yeah. And suspicious being unfit through drink or drugs. Yeah, perfect. All right, time, while yeah. driving a motor. That perfect farm. All right. Yeah, because you've been all right. Yeah. I'm going to put the cuffs to the front. Can I have a wee? Hey, can you have a wee? Yeah. No. Where are you going to have a wig that makes it decent? You're all right, just want to use You can see him mark me, yeah, I see it's all right. No, 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 no. Just... All right. I'm not, I'm not being hard, mate. Don't no, no. Me. It's when people start making... Yeah, but I'm not being ...making that, moves. What do you mean, sir? I'm not being aggressive. Make... No, I'm not saying you've been aggressive. But we just need your hands to go where we want them that's to go. Fine, mate. I'm not, being not where you want them to go, that's all. No, fine, mate. And sometimes that differs, doesn't it? No, fine, mate. All right. Now, let's have a look at your hands now, look yeah, I think uh, you, see oh, yeah. you can see it, you can see it. Yeah, yeah. I thought you smashed all your face in when you got no, out. No, 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 no. The lad's covered in blood uh, all through his mouth, which I thought was going to be from the collision. Uh, but it turns out he's cut his finger and then he's been wiping uh, wiping his finger all right around his face, which has caused all the blood transfer. So injuries aren't as, aren't as severe as what I thought when I got out of the car. Uh, but as we've seen, the car is in a horrifically um, poor state. Uh, to the point where it makes it really, really dangerous to be on the road. Right, don't touch anything, mate. No, yeah? of course not. No, I can't. You've got a His nose is intoxicated. He negates the necessity for a breath test at the scene, arrest him, and get him back to the police station as quickly as possible. Is this 
It's a beaut, isn't it? Oh, my days. It's good in there, mate. It's seen better days, hasn't it? It's, it's seen, seen better, better days. days. Yeah. Did we find it, like, at the bottom of the trench or something? Or what? That's where it belongs, I think. The problem is, I don't want to leave it here. Because if he's not, if he's not unfit, he's going to come back and he's going to take it. So I'm going to recover it for the purpose of a vehicle exam. Given the fact that it's got horrifically dangerous oh, yeah. edges that will literally rip somebody to pieces. Yeah. Front near side's bull tyre. And if you look, <laughs> look at how far the rear wheels extend outside the wheel arches. That's a failed MOT. That's right? a naughty one. And the door doesn't shut. Which I'm assuming is because of the collapsed wing. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Would you like to shut your door? No. The lad's off to custody to see if he actually is unfit to drink or drugs. Given the fact there's a, a beer can in the back, I would say he's more likely to be under the influence of uh, drink uh, rather than drugs, but, or it could be a mixture of both. We won't know until uh, any blood tests come back or, uh, or we've done the breathalyzer test. Yeah, it's a good result in the end of the day, and we've got some uh, details for the person that's been, that's been hit, so they'll be pleased. It's Peter Nick Lover from Derbyshire's uh, Road Crime Unit at Ripley. You were the driver of your motor when it got hit by an old-fashioned polo. We've got, we've got the vehicle, drives under arrest, and is now en route to Ripley. It, it's quite satisfying to be able to ring someone and say, we've actually got this car. You've reported it, and within five to ten minutes later, we've now stopped the vehicle. We've dealt with the driver, and we've acted on what they've reported. Yeah, you're not hurt, are you? Right, you're all right, though. Has the, has the vehicle had to be recovered or could you get it home? You've got it home? Right. Well, the good news is we've got him. Take care. Bye-bye. From the drunk or drugged to thieves on the run, around 10,000 runaway drivers fail to stop for police every year across the UK. People don't want to be responsible for what they've done. And if there's a chance of getting away, they'll try and take it. It is one of the major issues that we face on the road and the carnage that they can cause is immense and it shouldn't be happening. If a stolen car is in the hands of a criminal, there is no doubt that vehicle will fail to stop. That fight or flight, they will drive as quickly as they can and recklessly as they can to evade police capture. And if we catch them, they're going to fight as hard as they can so that we don't detain them. So for us, it really is a high risk time. In this episode... Quite distinct, isn't it? The man caught on CCTV after a car accident who said he wasn't driving. So you've not been in a car at all? Never. Pleaded guilty to failing to provide a drink drive test. He was banned from driving for 28 months, fined and must carry out 120 hours of unpaid work. I've got it, High Street. The England fan arrested by Nick Lovett. Well, <laughs> well, well, really you do want to tell you. Yes, do not, do not put your hands well, anywhere well, near well. your pocket. Pleaded guilty to drink driving and has been disqualified for 18 months and fined £300. Hands on the wall now! Hands on the wall! The man arrested after a Porsche failed to stop at 90 miles an hour along Derby's back streets. What car you got? I don't drive car. Right. Yeah, well, I don't believe you was charged with drink driving. Failed to stop, driving without due care and attention, and no licence. Oh, would you look at that? One Porsche car key. He has pleaded not guilty to all charges and is awaiting trial. That has quite cool. We've got a heat source right at the edge of the water. And the runaway driver who nearly drowned. Vomiting water up now, uh, um, so we're all in the ambulance. Was charged with burglary, theft of a motor vehicle, dangerous driving, driving whilst disqualified, no insurance and breach of bail. One stolen car, no damage to our cars and one locked up. He's due to appear at court. More traffic cops new next Monday at 8. Tackling knife crime and reckless runaways. The police interceptors are going full throttle in the new series at 8 on Wednesday. And tonight, late night drinkers are causing trouble as we call in police on the night shift 999.
Brunny next. <laughs>